I want you to be open to feedback, all right? Jason's gonna be your coach, the ideas and the executions from you. I'm gonna hand you over to Jason. We're gonna break up into teams in a moment and you're going to the kitchen, the six guys, people in the kitchen will go into the kitchen and the others will stay out here to talk about the, the bar and the floor tonight. This is something, it's, it's like a brief sheet. This event order, what we do is, uh, my, my, my team will put an event order together and issue it to the kitchen team, the floor team, the, the bar team, the management team. This event order will be issued to people a week before so they know what's going on. Parwan will need to roster. He will need to work out who's going to be working at Bernie's event. All right, the kitchen team, would you like to stand up and uh, come with me? Today we, uh, we have a mushroom and uh, parmesan prosciutto. Now we're going on to a salmon wonton with sour cream and chervil. The next one we have is a prawn baguette with lime mayo. Next we're going on a roast chicken quesadilla served with guacamole and sour cream. So this is the traditional Chinese dish. Who's had Peking duck before? Where they get the whole duck and they slice it. Yeah. Here we have a slider. We have a, a, a two and a half inch uh, burger bun. Okay, here we have the, the, the ticker. We've got to make sure we go out with enough food to cater to those 50 people. And we slightly over portion. So if we've got 50 people, we might go what we say 1.2 or 1.3. Also, it's important for temperature. If food is served cold, it's meant to be served cold, we've got to keep it that way. If food's meant to be served warm, we've got to make sure that we serve it warm. The important thing is, half an hour before the customers arrive, imagine if we had this two minutes before the customers arrive, what would happen? Well, who's doing what? A yaw. I picked the best people from my five restaurants, a hundred staff to come and help you tonight. These guys know their business, all right? And they're gonna be watching you. They're not gonna be doing it. You're gonna be doing everything tonight, okay, in your area. So stick to what you're doing. Don't do anything else. Don't go into anybody else's territory. Stick to what you're doing, all right? The most important thing is, when these people are plating the food, what happens? Nothing leaves the kitchen unless it's perfect. All right, so who's running the floor tonight? You are. You're gonna liaise with Bernie, and when Bernie's guests come in, of course the drinks are gonna be ready to go. That's the first priority. Then you're gonna to say to Bernie, Bernie, Mr. Bernie, what time would you like the food to start? You're gonna give the kitchen 10 minutes notice. They've got 10 minutes to get that first platter up. We've got two cocktails. We've got a classic uh, Singapore sling, and a Japanese slipper, great cocktails. A little bit different, okay, both shaken, served in different ways, different garnishes, different flavors. I want you to walk around. I don't want you to go and offer and cocktails. I just want you to put a couple on each tray and walk around. You must know what the cocktail is and what the basic ingredients are in a cocktail. Let's go, let's split up into teams. We're ready to go. First guest arriving just after eight o'clock. You must be ready. Now this is going to go cold unless we go fast. We've got to get this plated up in the next minute. Tortillas boys, how long? Now, bring the tortillas now. Me the next round, okay? So now guys, it's almost to the end of service time. We're going to start packing up. We've got the lamingtons to serve in a minute. Really, really good job. Really good team. Very enthusiastic. Not one person has been. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's been really good. I think the service staff has been really, yeah, service staff has been really good, and and they've they've been very proactive, going around, getting to know the clients. Not as as a service staff, but 
also to get involved with the party people as well. I think that's a that's a one up as well. No worries. Thank you. They're doing a wonderful job. See you at the next party, okay? Uh, it was excellent. Uh, we were never allowed to not have a drink or not have food in hand, and whatever I had was excellent. So well done. I'm very impressed with the level of service and the quality of the food. So good luck to all of them. I must admit that I I, I didn't realize that this is the amount of background work that takes place and how organized you have to be to be in the hospitality industry. I certainly didn't realize that there's actually there was science behind it, there's a, a technique and all of that. That's pretty impressive. They are excellent. They are coming, coming and asking us. Yeah, they are good. I enjoy it very much. The staff is very attentive. It's a very good customer service. They bring a lot of food. They ask us what we would like to drink. They top up our glasses. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Well done. I gotta say, it's not perfect service. But I'm very happy with it because uh, they are still learning. There's a lot to work on, but the most important thing is you can see in every one of them that there is a willingness to want to do it, to want to do it right. So uh, that that is all that matters. Uh, I would say possibly the nicest young people I've ever engaged with. They really were very courteous uh, and very sweet. So it was kind of nice. Like it was a nice experience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much.